breaking. A boy, a governor, Umahi, orders arrest of journalists over Facebook posts about Nigerian politicians and army. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The police in Ebony State, acting on the orders of the state governor, David Omahi, have detained the journalist, Godfrey Chikuri, over his Facebook post. Sahara reporters gathered that Chikuri was arrested by the police during the weekend following a petition by the government accusing him of hate speech, incisive publication, and cyberbullying. A riot informed your esteemed office as follows that on the 8th day of October 2021, at about 14.44 hours, one Godfrey Chikuri with phone number 08061570 did publish fake news and incisive posts in Facebook profile called Godfrey Chikuri and other media platforms and stated as follows. Nigerian army is seriously and willingly losing respect. That on the same 8th of October 2021, Godfrey Chikuri on his Facebook profile made a dangerous and disturbing publication and stated as follows. They, politicians, can pay a youth to murder a perceived political enemy, but they cannot give youth money to start a business. That this false, fake, and incisive publication is intended to cause fear, cyberbullying, riot crisis, and breach of the peace in the state. A petition signed by Ebony State's Commissioner for Information, Oji Uchen Na Oji, to the police commissioner read, Already, aggrieved youth and activists in the state are organizing to protest the demand for to demand the freedom of Chikwere, they also lambasted the Nigerian Union of Journalists for keeping mute while its member is being prosecuted by the state government, despite the guarantee for the freedom of speech in Nigeria's constitution. Mekuna free this young man, Godfrey Chikwere, is high time government, is high time governments occupy themselves with relevant issues in society instead of pursuing shadows. His arrest will end in futility. Free Chikwere now. A Facebook user Richard Mafo posted. An activist supposed to Benjazi Mweke Onyenge said, Do not blame the governor of Ebony State for signing the law against fake news. Blame your House of Assembly members who allow the said law pass through all the necessary proceedings, knowing fully well that it will be used against those who criticize or speak against any wrong governmental decision against the citizens. The present-day House of Assembly in Ebony State are also interested in their personal gain from His Excellency of forgetting their constituents who elected them to represent them. The ongoing unrest in Ebony State is nothing but a political fight against any perceived political opposition member in the state. Those that pass the bill into law should not forget that they will not remain in the ruling party forever. Tomorrow, the same law may land on their skull for speaking against the government in power. God for Chikuri is a law-abiding citizen and should not be held captive for expressing his fundamental human right, which is freedom of speech, except we do not have such law again in the Boy State. It is only in the military government that will not accept criticism, but in a democratic setting, criticism is one of the instruments of good governance. A reasonable government takes correction from criticism and not otherwise. Free Godfrey Chikuri. Nigeria is indeed a disaster. Dave, Uma, he wants to become Nebuchadnezzar II. It is like Uma, he wants a political appointment. This is a federal system of government where everybody acts based on the Constitution. The Constitution allows for freedom of expression and speech. The Constitution was the one that gave governors and president just four years in power. The Constitution is supreme. Donald Trump did not arrest CNN for speaking against him because they also practice federal system of government like us and they understand what federal system of government means. I think a Nigerian lawyer can make money out of this ignorance of this political class or the supremacy of the constitution. This country is becoming something else. Why would someone be arrested over his speech and what is the use of democracy again? I thought everyone has a freedom of speech. Exactly. I thought so myself. He is gradually turning a detector. When will you come and arrest me? This man thinks he is going to remain in that position forever. I hope he followed his father Buhari to Dara after, after the both of them finished because he has always said that Buhari is his father. 
This was why he said Eli did not want Biafra. Eli was the Islamic state of one Nigeria, where Sharia law is being practiced, where they can do what they, they like and go scot-free with it, since Sharia law is not for Eli, but for the common man, like his boss said. That Fulani administrator in Abakaleke have to be very careful. Very good ideology. Journalists always show finger at federal government soldier. He wants to learn in the language he did not understand. Are you serious? That's not, that's not, that's not good. Freedom of speech is in our constitution. And we practice a democratic, um, a democracy state. We practice a democratic system of government. So I do not understand why when people exercise their fundamental human rights, it has been infringed upon. It is uncalled for. This is one of the reasons Nigeria journalists refuse, refuse to speak the truth. Because if you, do politi if you do, politicians will come after you. Now, do you believe that Nigerian journalists are working with politicians? Arresting the journalists is part of that democracy? I watched a video recently where Governor Wiki of River State said that uncommon and superb governors of their states have become mischievous and unpopular after leaving PDP on the search for their self greener pastures in EPC. How can this be debunked, seeing Umahi and Cosmit behaving like this after leaving the great institution of public administration of people's mandate? Hmm. Once you join APC, the madness in their boards boss will start to manifest in you. Do may he behave like this before? Umar, he is paying hoodlums to kill people in their boy. Now he's arresting anyone that tries to expose him. Hmm. Dave, Umar, he has turned a full demon. God will surely disgrace. Oh my God, that is too cruel. That is just too cruel. People are asking, are we in a dictatorship kind of government or are we in a democratic kind of government? Because it is only in dictatorship that you can say things are not done like this and it is final. But in a democratic state, in a democratic system, we are all allowed or we all have our fundamental human rights. The electorates have, the citizens have. Everybody has the freedom, at least the fundamental human rights. Everybody has it. So I do not understand why when you exercise yours, then you are being, you are being picked on. You are being, your human rights are infringed. This is in no way right. It is not right in any sense at all. It is not right. People are allowed to add opinions. And of course, some criticisms are very, very creative. At the end of the day, you see what the, the, the ones, the, what you feel you can get from it, and then you move on. It is uncalled for. Infringing on people's fundamental human rights is uncalled for and it is totally unjust and not fair. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen to I come away next time. Enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>